Hi everyone, this is Chai. So I'm going to be talking about Wildcraft Herbs. They are a small vendor Kratom company and they are absolutely fantastic. Like the people who work there are amazing. Whenever you buy something from them, they send you a handwritten note a thank you card and it just makes it, it just makes me feel a little special so i do appreciate that little personal touch that they add in their packaging so i have quite a bit of wildcraft stuff because i love wildcraft and so i'm going to talk to you a bit about it and i'm also for my mid-afternoon kratom dose going to have something from them so i'm going to start out by talking about their white vein. So this is excellent if you want something to help you wake up in the morning or get you going through the day and you want that fast energy, but not overwhelming, not like too stimulating with no anxiety and jitters. And I recommend trying their white vein. I absolutely love it. It's one of my go-tos in the morning or during the day when I just need some energy. So white vein, definitely. I also have two kinds of rest from them. If I can find it. Red vein. So they keep it simple. None of the million types of strain names or anything. You get your white vein, green vein, red vein. They just keep it simple. And they have their blends. So this. So no, why? Why? Is their red vein. So I find this to be a daytime red for me. It makes me feel calm and relaxed. But at the same time, I still get that bit of energy. So if you want... If you don't want too much energy, you just want something kind of like middle ground, but also just kind of like calm your nerves and make you feel good, then I really like the, the red vein. I suggest you try this. In the evenings when you want something slow and strong, their deep red blend, I love this. This is just like the white vein being my go-to in the mornings. The Deep red blend is one of my go-tos for the evenings. I mean, it's just so relaxing, so calming, and it just helps me go to sleep. I mean, I love it in the evenings, or I'll take in the late afternoon if I just want to get a head start, um, and it just makes me feel so relaxed. Like, it's fantastic. If you're able to get your hands on this, definitely do it. I also have... I love this blend, the full spectrum blend. So it is a balance of everything and you just have the sense of calmness and you know, you have a bit of energy, but you also have like a bit of just like that relaxation and that calmness. I mean, no anxiety whatsoever. I mean, this is one of my go-tos for the day. I love the full spectrum blend. It's just a balance of the white vein, the green vein, the red vein, and it's just blended beautifully. So I love this. It gets me in a really good mood. Then I have Here Comes the Sun. So this is great to take any time during the day. I mean, you have a bit of energy, good mood. It's calming. It's just, it's great. I love this. Like if I don't want to take like a overstimulating or a fast white, um, but I don't want to take like a daytime red. I just want something in between. Then I go for the here comes the sun. So you want to welcome the sun in your life when you wake up in the morning. Start it with this. Speaking of waking up to the morning, aside from the white vein and the here comes the sun, is their breakfast blend. So it has energy, gets you in a good mood. Um, I mean, it's it just... It's calming, and I like this as well. So this is also one of the strains that I use to wake me up in the mornings is the breakfast blend. Make this part of your breakfast. I have their Golden Leaf Legacy. And so this is pretty good as well. If you want chill vibes all around, then this is worth a shot. Like, this is good, you know? I mean, if I just want that middle ground, calm, relaxing, and not to have any anxiety, then I would go for this. It doesn't make me tired or anything, but it's just it's just chill vibes all around. So Golden Leaf is good for that if you like your goats. I got their Stem and Vein. I haven't tried it yet. As you can see, it's still sealed. But when I'm ready to taper down with my kratom intake 
and you know just kind of like reset my tolerance then i plan on using this for sure two new strains i've gotten from them in their recent drop are these two so the bodhistava i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but the bodhistava is a pink blend so it is a blend of white and red vein and it's just balanced beautifully and if you want energy but you also want that red element of relaxation and calmness this is it it puts me in a really good mood and it just helps a a a alleviate all the anxiety so if it's still in stock get it if you like pink blends get it it's really good one of my favorite pink blends and what i'm actually gonna have this afternoon is their vintage micro green so i never had their regular green vein kratom before this is my introduction to their greens and it is excellent for mood boost like if you're feeling down stressed out and you just want to relax but still have that energy just middle of the ground energy this like this is fabulous this is one of my go-to's in the afternoon when i'm feeling stressed out have so much in my mind and there's just so much going on and i'm just constantly worrying this helps me just take a step back and breathe so i'm gonna have this soon and they do recommend when you have this have it with warm water not boiling but warm water because they'll help enhance the effects even more so i did boil the water but i warmed it up and so i'm going to have orange juice with warm water and down the hatch it shall go so yeah i have a lot of wildcraft stuff because they are amazing the people who work there are so kind they're they're awesome i mean they have a passion for what they do and it shows it shows in the quality of their kratom so definitely check them out they also have seven bane check this out when you're ready to decrease your kratom intake and that's pretty much it if you haven't tried wild i can speak try you can do this if you haven't tried wild craft herbs before i definitely recommend you try them out and if you have tried them out let me know what strains or blends you tried from them all right thanks for listening and wild craft herbs kratom out